There we go. Okay. Checking everything here, recording. Yes, it's recording. Hello, <laughs> hi, this is Elena, and this is week four of our bootcamp. So I'm super excited that you guys are here. I know you're not actually here online with me, but I was really hoping someone would join this meeting. Uh, that's okay, I know you guys have busy lives, so um, I'm just gonna talk to you guys about our last week. Um, hello, Caitlin. <laughs> and um, so I'm gonna talk to you guys about our last week and um, just, get going on uh, on what you guys are all going to be up to. So let's see, uh, we've got a great menu for you guys this week. We have all kinds of stuff. We've got, um, Caitlin's put together an awesome menu. She's done a great job these last four weeks. So I'm just really happy for you, Caitlin, that you've put all this energy into this. And as you know, you know, creating a menu for yourself, anybody that's been doing this on their own, is a lot of work. So Caitlin's taken the time to take a lot of my recipes, a lot of her recipes, and put them together in this awesome four-week plan. And I really hope that you guys continue to use this plan. If you haven't made all the food that's in there, like there's a lot of really great stuff and I really encourage you to um, get that, like use it, keep going back to it, especially the whole winter because it's a lot of winter foods. Now we're planning on doing a boot camp again in January. So if you want to rejoin it, we're going to give it to you guys at a discount. Um, and that way you can join in the live calls and you can also get new recipes if we're like kind of upgrading some for the winter um, and any new information that I'm coming across because the other thing is I continue to learn so as I continue to learn and Caitlin continues to learn and Allie continues to learn we all share that with you guys so um, you know keep tuning back in with us let us know what you want like if there's classes you want to see like online webinars um, Caitlin's going to be doing um, an elixirs class webinar this month so that's right after Christmas you know, right as winter is really coming in because December 21st is the start of winter. So, you know, after, you know, you've had your Christmas and you want to just learn how to do these healing foods, she's going to be doing an online live webinar. So you can join for that too, if you want. Um, so let's talk a little bit about what you guys are getting on your menu this week and all the great, exciting foods you're going to have. Um, we've got superfoods like spirulina in your kale salad. So why are we adding stuff like this? Well, you guys got your download on um, superfoods. And I know a couple of you guys were asking questions like, where do I get bee pollen? Which the jar of bee pollen that we mentioned um, in that superfoods list is one of many amazing bee pollens that you can get. I really recommend getting a local bee pollen if you can go to farmer's market. Now this time of year, you know, the flowers, there's not wildflowers, so honey and bee pollen probably isn't as fresh, but it doesn't matter. Like honey, bee pollen will last like a year in the freezer. I keep mine frozen just to keep it fresh. But the reason we use bee pollen just in moderation, I mean, it's literally one tablespoon sprinkled over a smoothie maybe once a week. I don't, I mean, it takes me a long time to go through a jar of bee pollen. Um, the reason for bee pollen is because it's got so many healing properties. If you sneeze when the spring comes around and all the new trees start to bloom, you can acclimate yourself by taking bee pollen, by just having it available in your body. Um, I'm not as big of an advocate of honey, but you know, I would stir a teaspoon of honey into my hot tea, especially in the winter with like a ginger lemon tea. That would be so amazing. Um, I'm just not a big user of honey just because it's a sweeter food, even though I have nothing against you know, using sweet things, just using it in moderation. Um, there's some other superfoods where we've got for you guys is the kale. Like the kale salad is a superfood in and of itself, but then by adding spirulina to it, you're getting this, like if you think it sounds weird when you look at that recipe, like, ooh, I'm not gonna put spirulina in my kale salad try it it we caitlin and i've been drink, having it like we've had it like two or three times in a row this last week it has this cheesy quality to it that's so good but also remember on plant-based people are always asking you where do you get your protein well spirulina is one of the highest sources of plant-based proteins you can get and it's actually way more assimilable assimilable than plant-based or than meat proteins. So the issue with meat protein, the reason people need to eat so much of it, let's talk a little bit about that. Like people are like, you know, you need four grams of chicken when you're eating your chicken, or you need this much steak on your plate to get the protein that you need. Well, how much of that is actually absorbing into your body? And that's the question that we ask. So with plant-based foods, they're so much more easily, uh, readily available to assimilate into our body, especially if we're blending them or they're already in powder form like spirulina. Um, you know, the more we cleanse out, the more you're going to notice that your body will readily absorb and accept these foods more easily into your body. And it's really exciting. Like I've seen it in myself. I started taking 
spirulina years ago and really loved it and was putting it in lots of stuff, especially on my salads. And then I've kind of had a period where I wasn't doing it as much and I was just kind of like, eh, spirulina, take it or leave it. And Caitlin, who I'm around all the time, is always using it. And I was like, yeah, you know, I know it's good for me, but I'm just not feeling it. So I went with that. And then I got blood tested and they told me I was low in iron and I was great. All my other levels were great. So I was like, okay, what can I do for iron? And Caitlin's like, here's spirulina. So I started just doing it every day and I noticed my energy levels went back up. I started feeling really good again. There's so many great benefits to spirulina. I mean, it helps with eyesight. It's just a super healing, amazing food. So that's all I'm going to say about spirulina, but just use it as a cheese on any of your salads. It's a really great supplement. You can add it into your smoothies. Uh, things like that. If you've got pomegranates, like so here in the U.S., which most of you guys are in that you're taking this boot camp, um, here in the U.S. we've got these awesome pomegranates growing on all the trees around us. We were just at the Tree of Life for Thanksgiving last Thursday, and there was pomegranate trees lining the whole walk. And so since we were waiting for the dinner time to start, we just ate pomegranates right off the tree, like fresh off the tree. And they're so good. They're so high in vitamin C. They're a really great addition to a kale salad. So if you guys want to wow your family at Christmas time, make them a beautiful kale salad and sprinkle that with pomegranates. They're going to love it. Caitlin made one for a potluck we went to, and the guy was literally dumping the bowl and like drinking out of the bottom of the bowl. He was like, there was pomegranate seeds and all the spirulina was in the bottom. So don't underestimate just this yummy little kale salad. Like people think, oh, kale salad, whatever. But this time of year, my body is just craving the nutrition from that kale and the chewiness after you marinate it like marinate it down squeeze it get it digestible but the chewiness of those leaves and the heartiness it makes you just feel full and satisfied so um yeah just check those out and then um some other recipes you guys have this week is asian coconut chips now i cannot say enough about these coconut chips so try the asian coconut chips first if you have all the ingredients which calls for um unrefined sesame oil which means make sure you're not getting just the toasted sesame oil we use the toasted sesame oil as like a one or two teaspoons in there for flavor but you want it to be the unrefined sesame oil if you don't have sesame oil just use a little bit of tahini but probably about half the amount as you would have oil um, so what the oil does is it just helps its things stick to the coconut uh, chips and it makes them crunchy and crispy it makes them taste like a fried little yummy fried chip so that's what we're going for in this. Like people want snack foods, they want comfort foods. Um, so let's give you guys something yummy and flavorful like an Asian coconut chip. After you've tried the Asian coconut chips and you can bake these or dehydrate them, we've given you instructions for both. You can try your red bell pepper dressing on the coconut chips. You can try any of the recipes, like any of the salad dressings we've given you, like the green goddess or any of those, um, even the easy Caesar and dehydrate those onto coconut chips and you'll have the most amazing flavorful toppings for your soups and salads. We've given you guys more soups this week like the creamy mushroom and there's a cauliflower soup. So try these yummy chips on there. And this is a great popcorn replacement. If you're trying to get off popcorn, we just had a pop-up dinner on Saturday night. It was a post Thanksgiving pop-up. We filled the room. It was really great. There was 20 of us all together. We had candlelight dinner really just beautiful community that came together. People came at six and didn't leave till 10. So that's a good sign, right? They were having fun. Um, but what we got into the conversation of is popcorn and people are like, yeah, you know, popcorn, I know it's not that great for me because let's face it, corn in general, yes, it's plant-based, but how do you really know you're getting non-GMO corn? I mean, you kind of have to trust the companies you're buying corn from. But the other thing is corn is used to fatten cattle. So think about that every time you're mowing down a bag of corn chips or um, a bowl of popcorn thinking, oh, okay, well, it's vegan, it's plant-based, it's got to be good for me. Grains in general, like I'm not against all grains. I love quinoa. I'll every once, maybe once a year, literally once a year, I'll have some brown rice. That's about how often I have brown rice. But quinoa in the winter and the fall, like right now, I'll have a little more often. I haven't had any in a while, but... Um, probably I have quinoa if I added it all up maybe 20 times a year not that much because in the summer I'm not eating it as much or at all uh, we'll make a tabbouleh out of it a quinoa tabbouleh which is fabulous and um, so yeah so quinoa is great um, it's more alkalizing than the other grains because grains are acidic and especially corn so getting back to why we created this coconut chip recipe is because like you could go to a movie and bring your coconut chips instead of having popcorn you could flavor them the same way that you would flavor buttered popcorn what would you put on that maybe a little nutritional yeast a little tiny bit of coconut oil and um, some salt 
and that, that's it, or some coconut aminos. Dehydrate that all together, and you've got like popcorn in the theater. Or if you like the onion powder, like the onion flavor on like the ranch style that they're doing now at the movie theaters, whatever your favorite seasonings are, just season it up with a little tiny bit of coconut oil and some salt, and you've got popcorn for days. And it's gonna be coconut, as we know, is so much more healing and beneficial to you, and it's not fattening like um, corn is. So another reason to get off corn. And you, now you have a substitute because really what I believe in and the reason we're doing this whole course for you guys and the reason we have um, these, these recipes available to you and we're doing these boot camps is because we're trying to get you guys, yes, you're plant-based, but are you eating Oreo cookies and Twinkies instead of eating the healthy stuff? So we're trying to get you guys to see that there's alternatives for stuff. Like you don't have to eat Oreo cookies. You can make our, have you guys tried those cookies yet that we gave you the recipe for? I hope you have those yummy almond chocolate chip cookies. Those to me, when I have those around, I don't crave anything else. Like that is awesome. I've, I've got healthy almonds, good, good healthy fats going into my body. Um, I don't eat them like crazy because still they're still a dessert, but you know, you got substitutes. So if you're really still into um, popcorn, try these chips or do some baked um, cauliflower, just bake some, roast some cauliflower and have that instead of popcorn. Just those little things. And you're not going to overeat that. Like how often would you overeat cauliflower? It's almost impossible. Um, so make the foods that feel like a treat, but you're not going to overeat them. And so the other thing that we gave you is mashed sweet potatoes and Brussels sprouts. So um, when we did our dinner on uh, Saturday night, Caitlin did this amazing set of regular potatoes because regular potatoes, yeah, they're white, they're more starchy, they could be more fattening. We're just not into the super white potato foods. So make it as a sweet potato. So she pureed up these sweet potatoes, she gave you the recipe there, it's really awesome. And you can add a little almond milk in to make it kind of yummy and fluffy, a little coconut oil to make it buttery. And um, we put a little bit of gravy in the middle. We have this mushroom gravy that was phenomenal. So you can make those up. That's going to be really comforting. You can do it like a twice baked potato, make the mashed potato, and then bake it back into the skin. Um, those are just great comforting things to have around when you're feeling like you're around your family and it's stressful. If you're getting together for the holidays or you're holiday shopping or any of these things, it can be stressful. Um, I pretty much avoid Black Friday altogether. I don't do any of the shopping. Even the, I was noticing, have you guys noticed this? Even the people that are into the natural thing are sending out Black Friday announcements. Like, I'm like, I thought we were supposed to be exempt from this stuff. I guess we're not really exempt from anything because we're living in this world. But I, I don't do any of the shopping. I've actually kind of opted out of, of the whole Christmas gift giving thing just because it's so stressful. Like I'll still give, I'll still make foods for my friends and family. Like I'll make beautiful um, chocolates and tie them up with a bow or make some coconut chips, those Asian coconut chips, but I'm not out shopping for things for people. No, I'm going to give them food that's going to heal and nourish them. So that's a great tip too. This week, when you're looking at some of these recipes, think about what you can make for your friends and family instead of giving them gifts that they're probably not going to use or that's just going to add to the landfills. Um, so the other thing we've got on your list of yummy new foods that you haven't tried yet is um, a bread loaf it's so it's instead of it being and there's actually even a video Caitlin's video on how to make this yummy almond bread loaf um, I did a couple videos too uh, ones on spirulina fudge which is a great gift but also you're getting that spirulina into your body the spirulina is going to help suck up heavy metals too so it's really a great one I've been learning from this uh, medical intuitive it's a new book he's got out it's called um, I forget what his first book is called but his second book is called um, life-changing foods from the medical medium and I'm really learning a lot from it I'm going to read from you guys out of here about celery juice in a minute but one thing I'm learning from him is that these heavy metals that all of us are exposed to over our entire life is help is causing um, a lot of our illnesses and a lot of illnesses whether you think you have candida or you have parasites or you have low energy or you're just not feeling like you should you should, like maybe your hormones are out of whack. A lot of it has to do with these viruses that our bodies have taken on just over the years and they're stemmed back to heavy metals. So if you can do things like spirulina, cilantro, dulse, these things are all going to help suck out heavy metals. And so you need to be doing all of these different things every day. So the recipes include all of that stuff. So find your creamy cilantro soup or blend cilantro into any of your recipes. Juice the cilantro. Um, get that in. Get your spirulina in. Like I'm up to a tablespoon a day, but you can start with a teaspoon because it is a little detoxifying if you haven't done it before. He's saying to make sure you get the Hawaiian spirulina so you can get that. I use the Health Force one, which 
Health Force Nutritionals is one of my favorite companies for superfoods. You guys were asking some of you where to get the superfoods. And if you just go on Health Force Nutritionals or go on purejoyplanet.com if you want to support us, which we appreciate always your support in any way. We're a small company and just here to serve you guys. So if you can shop on our website, that would be great. Purejoyplanet.com slash store. Um, the spirulina that we sell on there is awesome. It's the Health Force one and that's the one I use and it tastes really yummy and cheesy. So anyway, these foods are going to help suck out heavy metals. They're going to help you feel more energetic. I feel great right now. I feel like I've been doing all the right stuff. I've been doing all my healthy foods. I've been taking the superfoods and the spirulina and the cilantro, drinking my celery juice every day. So let's get into that. So that's another recipe that you guys have gotten this week. Um, that's new that you haven't seen before because we've been saying drink green juice, which I've been doing for 20 years. I started this raw food business in 1997. When I say business, I mean just the business of eating raw foods, not the business of business business. 98 is when I actually started doing it as a living, like to make, to earn money on it. And in 2000 is when I got the website going and I started writing the recipe books. And so it's really evolved over the last 16, 17, 18. I think it's, I'm up to 20 years, 97. Well, in 2017, it'll be 20 years. So I'm jumping the gun a little bit, but 19 and a half years. Anyway, what I would have been doing for the last 20 years is drinking green juice, believe it or not. I mean, what you see in front of you is someone who's made up of mainly raw foods, I would say 80 to 90% raw foods, high, high plant-based. Um, I definitely have had my share of delving into um, locally raised eggs and wild caught salmon. Um, but I keep coming back to this plant-based and I keep coming back to raw foods. Raw foods are more relevant than ever. They're more healing than ever. They're more amazing than ever in this time on our planet of sickness. I mean, how many people are you running into that are in their 20s that are having hormone imbalances or that just aren't feeling good? Um, how many people have unexplained weight gain or just unexplained health problems, like low energy that they don't know the answers to? So, you know, getting back onto these raw foods, getting back into these plant-based healthy foods, it doesn't have to all be raw, but even in this, these colder months, like making sure you're getting a lot of raw foods into your diet. And one way you can do that is through your juices. So the green juice recipes you've been doing, and I really hope you have been doing them because if you haven't, you're really missing out. Like you're missing out on the energy that those foods give you. It's actually so powerful and amazing the amount of energy you can get off of these green foods. I'm just blown away off these green juices because what happens is if you were to weigh, so let's talk about like percentages because people are like, how do I know I'm eating 80% raw foods? Well, it's by weight. So if you were to weigh the produce that goes into a glass of green juice, you're getting pounds and pounds of produce, right? So you're not just getting like, uh, you know, like juice weighs a lot. And the fiber that comes off out of my juicer, because I use a green star, is like that much, like hardly anything. It doesn't weigh anything. So I'm drinking every pint, which is 16 ounces, is one pound of vegetables. I mean, a pound of like liquid in me. So that's a high percentage of my diet for the day. If I think about how many pounds of food I eat in a day, like if I'm slamming down a couple green juices in a day, I'm getting two pounds right there of green juice, you know, two pounds of raw electrolyte filled with electrolytes. So let's talk a little bit about celery juice. So now, um, because we've been listening to the medical medium and I've been reading his books and he's really talking about the power of celery juice, plain celery juice without anything mixed in, First thing in the morning. So what I've been doing, Caitlin's been doing it with me, is we're juicing up the celery juice at night and then straining it, getting all the fiber out and through the nut milk bag, which you guys have seen us do in the videos. Um, and then I'm, I've got two, so I've got two days worth of just straight up 16 ounce, two bottles of 16 ounces of celery juice. And I'm drinking that in the morning on an empty stomach without any tea or coffee or anything in my system, no fat. So first thing you want to have. So let me just read to you guys a little bit out of this from this Life Changing Foods books about celery. And here's a little page he's got on celery. It's a whole page on celery. What I love about his book, and if you guys want to get this book, it's really phenomenal, is he talks about what celery does. He talks about the conditions that it heals. So I'll talk a little bit about that. Maybe what symptoms you might have and that what celery can heal. And then he talks about emotional support and the spiritual lesson from the food. So it's a really sweet book. I'm in love with it. I'm just reading it every night before bed. And I was reading it on yesterday, Sunday. I fell asleep reading it. I was just so into it. So um, celery is one of the most powerful anti-inflammatory foods because it starves unproductive bacteria, yeast, mold, fungus, and viruses 
that are present in the body and flushes their toxins and debris out of the intestinal tract and liver. So if you think you don't have yeast, mold, and fungus in your body, you do. I mean, I would say 90% of the population does because we live on planet Earth and we're just exposed to it through any, if you've ever eaten bread, if you've ever eaten gluten, if you've ever eaten grains, they usually have mold, fungus, bacteria in them, uh, breathing the air, you know, you're just gonna get it. So just, yes, celery juice is gonna help with all that. Pathogens like these are so often the underlying cause of inflammation. In their absence, your body is much better able to handle um, whatever life throws your way. At the same time, celery helps good bacteria thrive. So consuming celery is the most powerful way to alkalize the gut. That's in part because celery, which is technically an herb, not a vegetable, is high in bioactive sodium. It also contains cofactor micro trace mineral salts and yet undiscovered, that are yet undiscovered in research. Um, these are varieties of sodium and other trace minerals, more than 60 of them, that are present in celery and work symbiotically and systematically with each other, with celery um, and, their, and its regular sodium to raise your body's pH and rid toxic acids from every crevice in your body, including the gut. This process is ideal to cleanse and repair intestinal linings. So if you think you have leaky gut or you have some form of you know, that happening with allergies, um, this is gonna help repair your intestinal lining. And it's also like everybody talks about electrolytes, like getting it from coconut water. That's great, but coconut water has flown in from Thailand or Hawaii or wherever. Like if you can get celery juice right out of your own garden or right out of like, you know, that's been locally grown here for this time of year, you're gonna be way better off drinking that celery juice. Um, and at the same time, celery offers enzymes. We know that raw juices offer enzymes, so it's a living food. It's like a living water in your, it's the best way to drink water is through a juice, through a celery juice, no sugar involved. Um, let's see, it actually helps increase your hydrochloric acid in the stomach so that food digests eas more easily and it doesn't putrefy. So maybe drinking the celery juice right before a meal, like wait 10 or 15 minutes after you've drank it before you eat your meal and you're going to be getting your hydrochloric acid going so if you have a hard time with starches or just digesting food that's going to be a great thing to do right before a meal um, you can't drink too much of it <laughs> have three a day if you want no big deal and it's one head of celery just so you know makes one 16 ounce green juice so you know every head that you buy you get a whole juice out of it usually unless it's a scrawny if they peeled all the big outer layers off, then it maybe is less. But if it's a good size celery, you're going to get a whole 16 ounces out of it. Um, it says, this helps prevent a multitude of gastrointestinal disorders. Adding celery juice to your diet is the best way to resolve ammonia permeability. It's an unrecognized condition in which ammonia gas seeps through the intestinal lining and causes health issues such as dental rot and brain fog. Um, so that's interesting, right? What I was telling um, Caitlin the other day is that I, uh, I was getting that ammonia leakage when I first went into raw foods. I was doing all this cleansing and I was smelling ammonia coming out my nose. And whenever I go into a deep, deep cleanse, it hasn't been for a few years because I've probably healed that, hopefully after 20 years, right? Um, I would smell this strong ammonia coming out my nose. And now this is the first time I've heard anybody actually talk about it. So I think that's really fascinating. Okay, so I'm gonna continue with this. It says, while celery may seem to some like a bland, boring food, it is anything but. In addition to the above, celery um, improves kidney function, helps restore the adrenals, can even bring ease to one's mind and thought patterns with its mineral salts feeding electric, electrical impulse activity and supporting neuron function, which is key if you suffer with ADHD, brain fog, or memory loss. When it comes to celery, think electrolytes. It hydrates you on a deep cellular level, level, lessening your chances of suffering from migraines. Celery is ideal to address each of the unforgiving four factors, which he talks about more in his book. Plus, um, it helps with stress assistance and also repairs your DNA. I want my DNA to be repaired, don't you? That sounds awesome. I could go on and on about the benefits of celery juice for all manner of ills. It is one of the greatest healing tonics of all time. Of all time! So get your celery juice on, people, ladies. Okay, so I'm just going to briefly go through some of the conditions that he mentions that celery juice um, heals. Um, he already talked about attention deficit disorder, autism, eczema, psoriasis, uh, leaky gut, infertility, Lyme disease, migraines, OCD, that's interesting, pelvic inflammatory disease, thyroid disease, and disorders of low 
pre, uh, reproduction. And a few more, it talks about diabetes, adrenal fatigue, sepsis, urinary tract infections, kidney stress. So anything to do with the kidneys, and even if you don't know if you have kidney problems, you need some kidney cleansing. I mean, our kidneys are working all day long. So this is good no matter what you have. And then he says, if, here's the, some of the symptoms you might be experiencing. Like if you don't have a label for what it is, which I don't really believe in the whole labeling anyway, because then you just kind of keep repeating that pattern. But if you're just having some symptoms, here's some of the things you might be feeling that celery can heal. Intestinal spasms, cysts, low hydrochloric acid, sluggish liver, low cortisol, high cortisol, brain fog, food allergies, acidosis, uh, hyper or hypothyroid, blurry eyes, joint pain, headache, gas and bloating. I mean, most women we're dealing with the whole gas and bloating thing. And like, this is supposed to really help reduce that. And I'm excited about that because I, that's one thing, like I feel great, I feel amazing, but I still deal with intestinal bloating. And I've had it since I was a child because I was born with fungus and yeast and like all the rashes and everything. I had eczema and all that. So um, I'm excited about just seeing, like I've only been doing it for a week, straight celery juice. So I'm excited to see how it works. Um, it says candida overgrowth, anxiousness, memory loss, high blood pressure, on and on. So it's also emotionally supportive, um, celery juice. So that's all I'm going to say about celery juice because I feel like I could talk for an hour on celery juice. And I hope you guys try it. And I hope you guys post on Facebook or below these lessons that we're giving you uh, if you've had any great success with celery juice and what you liked about it and what it was doing for you. Um, okay, so let me keep going here. Uh, we have got, so we've, we've talked about um, that next page. So let's talk about how to continue and stay strong on your plant-based diet through the holidays, right? We've got, we've got through Thanksgiving, good job. I don't know about you guys, but I went up to the Tree of Life, which is a raw food healing center here in Arizona, about an hour and a half drive from my house. Um, those amazing people up there, Caitlin and I spent the day just out in the sun, meditating with the people. Uh, we went in the garden and actually did Native American chants and meditation in the garden. Then got to spend the afternoon eating everybody's amazing, all raw, all vegan, plant-based meal, socializing with other people and community. And that part is really important. Like. Being together, yeah, no, maybe I don't necessarily go to my family's for the holidays anymore because they're eating turkey and they're eating stuffing and gluten and sugar and all the stuff I don't eat. Like, there's nothing really for me to eat there. And I could bring my kale salad, but, you know, I would rather spend my thankful day, Thanksgiving, with community that's like-minded. So you can find that. Like, you can find people that are really into the health. Bring them into your family. Invite them to your family Thanksgiving um, and share that. Cause I think it's really important to share meals with people. Like eating alone is not the same as sharing and being a community. So that's great. Cause this whole month is really about, you know, December coming up is really about family and gift giving and loving and sharing and open heartedness and lighting candles and warming our hearts. And I really believe in the holidays. I really believe in, um, just the love that gets created in this month. So let's not think of it as like, oh my gosh, I have to avoid the holidays or I have to get through them somehow because it's not really about that. It's like, how much love can I give and share in my own way and still be true to myself? So it's really like, how can we figure out how to be more true to ourselves in this time, you know, in this time of stress? So one way to do it is to, what I talked about in the beginning of the video is don't feel stressed about giving gifts. I know if you have children, of course there's gift giving involved. Um, you know, they would be really disappointed if you're like, here's chocolate for Christmas morning. <laughs> but, you know, like for your family and friends, like they would love something homemade. They would love just some chocolate bars or some those chocolate clusters you guys learned or the coconut chips or the spirulina fudge or the brownie re recipe you're getting this week, which is one of my first, very first recipes I came up with. And it's amazing. People think it tastes like cake. Um, and it's so healthy. So you can package that up with a little bow. So take the stress off yourself. Get back into your meditation. If you haven't been doing it, I'm hoping you're up to 15 minutes by now. Um, I'm up to like 40 minutes because now I'm like practicing back-to-back -back meditations and I'm doing some other um, little morning ritual things. One thing I've been doing um, for the last week is tapping. And I don't know if I mentioned that to you guys before, but it's called Emotional Freedom Technique, EFT, or it's also known as tapping. You can look it up on YouTube and you can tap for anything. Like if you're feeling sick you can tap for that if you're feeling stressed you can tap for stress and you're just tapping different points on your face and um around here and what you're doing is it's helping your nervous system to release these things out of your body and it really works i promise you it really works like i'm working on my metabolism right now 
and I've noticed a difference because I was noticing I was actually hungrier. I was like, wow, my hunger is increasing because I'm increasing my metabolism through this tapping I'm doing. And I ask my body before I start what my metabolism's at. And then after I finish the 10 minutes of tapping, I ask my body what my metabolism is at. And it's usually up to by, this morning it went up um, 20%. It's usually up, goes up by 10%. So that's great. So try tapping. If you've tried everything and you're like, I don't know what to do because maybe you're suffering from something or you're just frustrated. It could even be an emotional problem. If you've tried a lot of things and you don't feel like they're working, try the cell reduce one because that's going to really help soothe your nervous system. And the other is to try some tapping. So tune into that. Do your meditation. Um, if you're around stressful people, you can tap on that. Like even though I'm around my family and it really triggers me when I'm with my mom or whatever it is, I totally love and accept myself. So you can do these tapping techniques. Um, I'm a big believer. I've been doing it for years. And I know people that have, like I healed from a migraine in an instant, which I never even get. But I was with my friend in Australia. Or she's Australian. I was actually with her in Hong Kong. And she was telling me how she'd healed her cancer from tapping. And I was like, yeah, I know tapping's good. I've done it before. And I've never, seriously, like I do not get migraines. I Headaches, the only time I get them is if I'm dehydrated or if I've taken a supplement or something that's too extreme. But so I got this, one of those migraines that you, I guess this is what people get. I mean, I couldn't even function. And I was trying to, we were doing a class together. So I was trying to prepare for the class. We had a whole team of women over at the house. And I was like, you guys, I can't do anything. I just, I went and sat at the table. Like, I don't know what to do. And she just sat next to me, gently tapped my arm and said, do you like to try tapping? And I said, in my mind, I'm screaming, no, hell no. And then, and I hear the words come out of my mouth, my mouth really quietly. Okay. And she tapped with me. And after the third round, guess what? I went and passed out on the couch for 15 minutes. I just had to fall asleep, woke up, and I was completely 100% fine. I mean, that's my story. That's like a miracle. And I feel like that headache came to teach me that tapping, because I don't get headaches, like yeah, to just because she was there and she knew how to do the tapping. It was to teach me, like, you need to learn this. And those kind of things happen to us in life. Like, why did you guys find this boot camp? Why did you guys find me? Why am I giving you this information today? Maybe there's something in here that you really need to hear. And I don't know what it is because I'm saying a lot of stuff today, but um, I'm just feeling like whatever you need to hear, you're going to hear. And there could be a key in something that's going to help shift your health, shift you, shift your life, shift your emotions, shift whatever you're going through in the right direction. So just tune into whatever's feeling like, yeah, I really want to try that or that really sounds good. So it could be the celery juice. It could be the tapping. It could be the wellness shots. You guys, this is exciting. So I've been going to Whole Foods with my friend Jeanette, who I love, and she gets this wellness shot every time we're there. And um, I'm like, oh, you know, I'll taste a sip. And it's really good. It's like intense ginger, intense turmeric, a little bit of apple juice, cayenne sprinkled on top. And so the other day I was in there by myself and I'm like, I'm going to get, I'm going to get one of those. I got my celery juice and then I got the wellness shot. And, um, then I came home and I had to re recreate it because it was so good. So what this is, is it's the most intense <laughs> ginger and turmeric drink you're going to ever drink. It's kind of like you have to sip it because it's so intense. But what I notice is it really cleans you out. One, it's like the, the ginger just wants to move right through you because it's, it's like a lot of ginger in there, like a whole tablespoon in one shot. And the turmeric and the ginger together is really anti-inflammatory. The apple juice, so what this guy, Andrew, what is his name? Anthony William keeps saying is don't be afraid of fruit. So I'm one of those people that's been afraid of fruit for the last 20 years because I got into this, like doing low glycemic, and I still believe in like not going hog wild on sweet stuff. But he's saying, you know, these fruits, these apples can be one of the most healing foods for you. And I believe that because we do our liver flush program, and that's all about malic acid, which comes from apples. Um, so doing a little bit of this green apple juice or red apple juice in your, your wellness formula, the recipe you got in this week's um, program, try it out. So I'm doing it um, usually at night and it feels like this really, it's really energizing. So it's a great coffee replacement. It's a great energizer doing it like later in the day, like right before dinner, maybe five o'clock before your dinner meal, you're going to stimulate your digestion. You're going to curb your appetite. So you're not going to feel like you're really, really hungry and you need to overeat. Because I know sometimes in the evening is when we want to eat a lot of our heavier, starchier foods. And um, just all that cayenne is going to open up your blood vessels, the ginger, the, the turmeric. I'm telling you, like, do this for the rest of the winter. Do it. Because you're going to love it. And it's going to keep you from getting the bugs. Like, people are sneezing and running their noses and coughing around you. And, like, you're going to do this wellness formula and you're not going to get sick. I promise you. If you're doing the celery juice and the wellness formula every day, Get your juicer out. If you don't have a juicer, just blend it and squeeze it through your nut milk bag. If you don't have a nut milk bag, why not? 
you need to order one today. I'm telling you, the nut milk bag, I couldn't live without it. Even though I have a juicer, I take all the juice I've just made and strain it through the nut milk bag and it gets a, usually a good little like handful of fiber out and the juice goes down so much smoother. I don't want to feel that celery fiber hitting my throat when I'm drinking it. So people have asked me a lot, like, why is your juice so smooth? Like when they tried mine and they tried the one from Whole Foods. And I say, because I use a nut milk bag. That's an extra step. I pour the juice through the nut milk bag and strain it out. And then you're going to get that really smoothness. So that's what I've been doing with the wellness formula. I had a shot this morning because I had made a bunch up last night. I just thought, I'm making this every day. Why don't I make like a double batch? Because that's what I'm doing with my celery. I'm making like two heads of celery a day. And then every other day I have to get my juicer out instead of every day. And if you're time constraint, you could even do three days worth, but only if you have a green star, because if you have a regular juicer, it's going to oxidize. So if you have like a, you know, Jack Lane or one of those quickie juicers, you need to do it every day, honestly, because you're going to, you're going to lose out on a lot of the alkalinity and the enzymes. If you're, if you're have a, an, just a cheap juicer, which there's nothing wrong with, but it's just not the quality of a green star. If you've ever tried a green star, you kind of know what I'm talking about. It's just really, it's got this infrared, it's got the metal, it's got the magnets, it's really slow, cold press juicer, so it's gonna be really good stuff in there. I think I show you guys that in my juicing demo. If you haven't watched my juicing demo, watch it, because I give a lot of really great information about juices. What else are we gonna be talking to you guys about this week? So like I said, Caitlin's got all these great things. One of her things that she's really good at because she's been traveling since she found out she had celiacs, um, which was years ago. I think she's, this is like her ninth year. Um, she's one of those women that's wise beyond her years because she kind of had to start early with healing her body and nobody knew what was wrong, so she had to do it on her own. So what she's learned how to do is travel. She actually went to Europe and didn't eat in restaurants. Can you believe it? Like she ate out of farmer's markets. She ate out of her backpack and she had all these great things. So we're gonna give you guys a lesson this week on, on that. So, ooh, that's exciting. I still, I mean, I travel and I still love like learning from her cause she's, whenever she's about to go on a trip, she's like in the kitchen making her dehydrated stuff and getting her little sauces and her little packets and her little travel kit that she's got. So you're gonna learn about that. Um, and the reason we're giving you healthy travel is because maybe you're going to visit family and friends over Christmas or the Hanukkah or, um, or New Year's even. Or maybe you're gonna go on a winter vacation in January. So we wanna get you guys knowing that it's not, um, you don't have to like, okay, I'm off the hook because I'm going on vacation, I can eat whatever I want. Because that's what people do. And I've stopped doing that. I used to do it, mm, I go through an airport and kind of feel like I was, have you guys ever done this? You go through an airport and you're like, I'm in, I don't know what I want to call it, a bubble world. Like all bets are off in the airport. I can do whatever I want while I'm in the airport. I don't know what it is, but it's happened to me. I'm like, I'm going to eat a bagel. I never eat bagels. I never eat white flour, but I'm in the airport. I'm going to have a bagel. And then I'm paying for it for like three days or longer, you know, because I just can't do gluten. I can't do the inflammation. I can't do the brain fog that comes from gluten. So if you're one of those people that feels like when you're on vacation, you're off the hook and you can eat whatever you want and clean it up later. Well, why not go in and be on your positive? Like I'm going to eat 90% of what I eat is going to be amazing and healthy and 10% maybe I'll let myself have some wine or have some of my mom's pumpkin pie or whatever it is. But like, go in with the mindset of I'm going to do this right and I'm going to take care of myself because all that really happens when you eat that way is you feel bad about yourself, you gain a lot of weight, you feel crappy, then January you spend the whole month trying to get the weight off. So why not go in with a positive mindset of like, I'm just going to skip all that and eat healthy. So that's what our travel and the raw tips are going to be about. And really just everything we're teaching you guys over this month. My main goal, Caitlin's main goal, Allie's main goal is to really just help you guys to learn new things, create one new habit a week. You know, pick a new habit this week. Maybe your habit this week is the celery juice. Or maybe it's one of Allie's, she's giving you guys some new videos this week, which I'm really excited about. Some, um, I saw her doing some lunges and some stuff like that. Maybe you're doing plank. Like this week, I'm going to plank every day you know, whatever it is. Um, so one new habit a week, and we hope that we will walk away with at least four new habits that you got from the boot camp. That's a lot, actually. If in a month you came away with four new habits that are now part of your healthy lifestyle, even if you don't stay 100% plant-based, it doesn't matter. It's not really about being in some kind of special group or, you know, it's not a religion. It's not an anything. It's just a I want you to be healthy. I want you to feel good. I want you to feel some of the stuff that I've gotten to experience, the pure joy that I've gotten to experience from eating and living a plant-based lifestyle. Like I love how I feel 
And every day that I'm like, oh, you know, I wish I weighed five pounds less, you know, how we do that, 10 pounds less. I think, you know what though? I don't have any ailments. All my joints feel amazing. I can hike up hills. I can do push ups. I can go to yoga. I can think straight. I can create programs. I can do, do, do. Like, I'm really happy with my body. Like, we need to focus on what's working and what's great and what's awesome because it's so easy for us to focus on what we don't love about ourselves. So, really, this whole boot camp is about self-love this last week let's call it love camp because what it really is is like I love myself enough to do this for myself no matter how busy I feel or no matter how much I don't want to get out there and make that kale salad or whatever it is or how much easier it would be to go to um, you know the restaurant and buy food like love yourself enough to do this like you paid for this program and it's important to pay for the program because when you pay for it you feel like it's something you have you know, you need to get your money's worth and I want you to get your money's worth. So do the program, do all of this. And it's not going anywhere. You guys can go back and redo this, but I do encourage you guys um, also to just tap into our other programs that are coming up. So do your boot camp, do it well, do your love camp. And then when this week is over, I'll tune back in with you guys on Sunday with another video. Um, think about how the rest of the month is going to go because you've got the whole of December and January and it's going to be cold. So really you go over these recipes and really know them by heart, start really doing them and incorporating them into your lifestyle. We've specifically chosen recipes that we feel like are healthy and healing and are going to make a difference in your life. Um, that are something that like we love and I use on a regular basis, like that kale salad, like the brownies, like the clusters, like the juices. Those are stuff I do all the time. I don't do brownies all the time, but like, it's great to have that in your back pocket for when you want a treat, like at night, like, okay, I'm just going to have a brownie. I'm not going to have corn chips or whatever you would normally have. Get the grains out. Like that's maybe one of your challenges for this week. Can you eliminate the grains except for maybe the quinoa? Can you eliminate the corn? If you're eating corn, get it out and start getting in the coconut chips, start getting in the coconut wraps, the paleo wraps that we told you guys about. We gave you a link on Thrive Market. Um, you can also make your own if you know how to do that. So speaking of knowing how to do stuff, I also want to talk to you guys about our new programs that we're launching. We have two programs. One is a level one um, plant-based certification course. You can actually get certified as a raw food chef. It's the courses that I usually do in person, but now we're making them available online. Um, so we've been working really hard to get all the recipe packets together. All the videos have been created. They're going to be on this teachable website that you guys have been using. Um, so you can do the whole entire level one, which I think is about 40 lessons. It's actually amazing. Then at the end, you can actually get certified by me. You can do a Skype call with me and get certified. So that's one. And you can give that to someone as a gift. If you've got a daughter or you've got a friend or you've got a spouse that you want to give this to as a gift. Um, the second one is advanced course. And this one's really exciting because it just got finished. I mean, the other one I've had out for a couple of years on another website, but now we're offering it on our website, which is great because then we get, um, all the income comes to us because we put so much love into this program. Um, the second one is the advanced and that's got like the breads and you're going to get to see Caitlin's bread recipe. That's one of the lessons we give you in our online advanced course. So the reason I'm bringing this up is because if you really want to stick with this lifestyle, take these courses, learn this food. This food is like everything you could possibly need to know is on these online courses that I'm teaching. I mean, I'm that confident that you're gonna walk away and be so adept at plant-based food, plant foods, especially the raw aspect. Uh, raw foods are so important still. They're still so very, 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 very relevant. Like, you know, yeah, we're kind of moving more into some of the cooked stuff, but I keep coming back to like more raw. My body wants the raw, like I want that for my vitality. So check out our courses. We'll be sending you guys some links to them when they're ready. Um, but the reason I brought it up is just to tell you there's still more stuff out there that you can do. You can keep educating yourself, keep staying in the conversation. That's why I like to call it like stay in the conversation, get on these, stay on our Facebook page and, and talk to each other. Um, go on my pure joy planet page, which is just our business page. We're always posting recipes. We're posting something every day. We've got blogs. I've got, um, the podcast, which is going to be getting launched. Um, there's just a lot of stuff. We're going to just keep educating you guys. I really am passionate about this. Um, the last thing I want to talk about with you guys before I say bye-bye is, um, the liver cleansing. So we are going to send you guys on next Sunday after your boot camp's over, we're going to send you guys, and this is kind of really valuable because you would be paying a couple hundred dollars for this without this boot camp love camp program, but we're just going to give it to you guys as a bonus because I really want you guys now that you've been doing plant based for a month after this week, now your body is kind of prepared to do a liver flush. 
So check out the liver flesh when you get it next Sunday. It's a lot of juicing. You can do the celery juice in there. Um, it's a lot of um, cleansing, but excuse me, you can do it with eating food. So you can eat all these foods we've been teaching you this week, except for the nuts and keep it a low fat diet. But you're going to learn more about that liver flesh. And we wanted to give that to you guys because we really feel like I feel it's so important. I put a lot, you're going to see this manual. I put years into this manual. So, um, Take that on. Tell your friends about it, please, and have them come do the program. Um, you can buy all the stuff on our website, all the cleansing things. So don't forget, or I should say, remember to keep cleansing, to keep doing a monthly cleanse or doing a seasonal cleanse. So when winter hits, which is December 21st, that's when winter hits, maybe right after Christmas, do your winter cleanse. Take Caitlin's elixir class so you can learn how to put those elixirs into your cleanse. Um, liquids are great during this time soups, blended foods, some things like that. Um, so, and then don't forget about the emotional aspect of all of this. Like we're doing all this stuff for our body and we keep thinking physical, physical, physical. I have to drink the juice. I have to make the food. I have to shop. I have to do this. I have to do that. But we have an emotional body that we really want to love. And that's when these yummy comforting foods, the, the sweet potato mashed potatoes come in with the gravy and the, the brownies and the spirulina fudge and and just loving yourself up with the meditation, like taking that time out for you. So I want to end today with just saying, I really care about you guys. And we do, all of us, Caitlin's been working so hard behind the scenes and Allie with her fitness stuff. And she's always posting on the Facebook page. So between the three of us, we're trying to kind of cover all the bases while we're living our own lives too and getting having our own emotional cleansing and healing going on. I mean, it's a continual Thing. It never ends and it makes us human. It makes us what makes us want to be here on this planet and to interconnect with you guys and just all to be real and vulnerable and authentic. There's no fakeness here. I'm not making up stuff. I'm not saying I'm doing stuff I'm not doing. I mean, I'm just being real. I'm just being with you guys. So we want to keep to continue to support you through all of this. And I hope you guys have a great week and that you please, please, please try all these recipes we put together because it's completely coming from our hearts that we want to just serve you guys and help you have happier lives. So if there's anything that you've done, please tell us like, oh my God, that changed my life or that was amazing or I feel really good or I'm excited or what you're learning, what something new you want to share with us, like anything, just let's keep this conversation going. Let's keep posting on Facebook even after this love camp's over. Um, we're going to keep informing you guys what's coming up next so you can join us for the next thing. And uh, we really do want to do our own retreat. And we're thinking about, because there's a gem show that happens here every February in Tucson, it's huge. But people kind of like, I don't know what to do when I come. I've been going out to, to, to it for years, so I kind of know the hot spots. And we were thinking of having like a retreat, maybe a weekend, three day, where you come, we feed you, you get to stay out here in Marana. We're gonna maybe find some Air Airbnbs in the area. We do some fitness together every day, like hiking. We feed you. We have meditation together. Then we go to the gem show. We kind of have fun with that. You guys can do your own thing there. Buy the gems. Take home huge, gigantic crystals. I'm going to show you guys these couple in the background. That one I got in the gem show. That one up there I got at the gem show. People love that one. That's a rose quartz. That was like $900. But you don't have to spend that much. I think I got a discount because I got it at the end. But anyway, so these gems are amazing. That salt lamp we got at the gem show. So... Maybe we'll be announcing that soon. I hope you guys want to join us for that and just get to come and be with us. And there's going to be other things too. We really are building community. We're considering putting our school into a brick and mortar in downtown Tucson with a restaurant attached. We'll keep you posted on that. So if you know anybody, angel investors, or anybody that wants to be involved in that, we welcome their input as well. So I love you. And I will see you guys um, out there in cyberspace. And I'll be recording another video as for you guys, a final video next Sunday. So you get to kind of like get a send off. Um, but keep it up. You guys are doing a great job. Even if you've only done one thing, you're showing up. If you watch this video, that's good. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Nobody joined. Oh my God.